Am I feeling all right? <laughs> if I was you, I'd be worrying about folks talking about shooting somebody. That's who I'd be worrying about. It's a messy business shooting folks. It ain't like killing a hog, you know. Sheriff got to come. White folks got to come. All that come with shooting somebody. But folks die in all kinds of ways. Sometimes they be going along just as nice as you please, and their heart just give out, just like that. Don't nobody know why. Things just happen. One day, a little bit before I left the plantation, Colonel Harrison bought him a new cook, Ella. She was a big, strong woman. She didn't make no trouble either. Just worked hard and kept to herself. Ella knew a lot about herbs, what to put in to make it taste good. Colonel Harrison just loved the way she cooked. He used to let her roam all over the plantation picking her wild herbs to put in her soups and stews. And she wouldn't tell nobody what she used said it was secrets from Africa. White folks didn't need to know. <laughs> Colonel Harrison just laughed. He was eating good and didn't care about where it come from, no way. But after a while, that overseer started messing around her, trying to get Colonel Harrison to let him have his way with her. But Colonel Harrison said no and told him to stay from around her. She belonged in the kitchen. But that old overseer still wanted her, and everybody knew the next time he had a chance, he was going to get her. So one day, Colonel Harrison went to town, going to be gone all day. So that overseer put some poor colored man in charge of our misery, and he walked on up to the house like he the master now that Colonel Harrison had gone off. And when he walked up onto the back porch, he had one thing on his mind. But Ella had been up early too. And the first thing he saw before he even saw her was a fresh apple pie cooling in the window. And it smelled so good he almost forgot what he come for. <laughs> and Ella opened up the screen door and she smiled like he the person she wanted to see most in this world. And she asked him if he'd like a glass of cold milk and a piece of her hot apple pie. Of course he did. <laughs> what man wouldn't? And he sat down there, and she cut him a big old slice. And she told him it was hot and to be careful not to burn himself. And do you know what happened? Well, he never got to finish that piece of pie Ella cut for him so pretty. Heart just stopped right in the middle of a great big bite. By the time the master got home, they had him lay down in the barn, and Ella was long gone. But she did do one last thing before she left. She gave me her recipe for apple pie.